in our last Science 7 video, we learned about the large sections of Earth's crust that are slowly moving called tectonic plates. We also talked about the boundaries where different tectonic plates are touching. And remember, their movement can cause things such as earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountains. Today, we are going to learn more about earthquakes. The study of earthquakes is called seismology, and the people who study earthquakes are called seismologists. Part of the seismologist's job is to examine the tectonic plates and learn how they are interacting. Converging boundaries and transforming boundaries of tectonic plates are causes of earthquakes. As these plates are trying to move either towards or past each other, they sometimes get stuck until the pressure builds up enough and they suddenly move. This sudden release of energy causes earthquakes. Earthquakes are waves of energy that travels through the earth. It causes the shaking we can feel during a big earthquake. The spot under the earth's surface where the rock first broke to allow the tectonic plates to shift is called the focus. The location on the surface that is directly above the focus is called the epicenter. The focus is where the energy is released, causing the earthquake waves or seismic waves. There are actually three main types of seismic waves, P waves, S waves, and surface waves. P waves or primary waves travel the fastest. They cause a slight vibration that might not even be felt. P waves are also able to travel through solids and liquids. S waves or secondary waves are only able to pass through solids. Both P and S waves can travel within the earth. Surface waves, however, only travel on the surface of the earth. They are the slowest of the three. Surface waves can create a rolling motion and they cause the most damage. Earthquakes often cause aftershocks and can lead to tsunamis. Aftershocks are smaller earthquakes that happen after the main big earthquake. Sometimes there can be as many as 1,000 aftershocks a day following an earthquake. Tsunamis are created when an earthquake happens under the sea and creates huge waves. These waves can travel across oceans and cause lots of damage when they hit shore. Seismologists detect and record earthquakes using a device called a seismograph. A pen hangs over a rotating drum covered in paper. When there is an earthquake, the pen moves, but the drum stays still. To compare earthquakes, seismologists use the Richter scale. It measures earthquakes on a scale from 1 to 10. The energy released from one level to the next is 10 times greater. Today, the moment magnitude scale is mostly used as it works better over a wide range of earthquakes. Next time, we'll learn about another effect of tectonic plates, volcanoes.